crafty friends. Come on in. The new products are good or fine. The water's fine, right? The new products are fine. Oh, so come on in. I'm going to wait just uh, about the 30 seconds here so that if anybody's here, they can say hello. I'm cold right now because I took my sweatshirt off <laughs> before the video so I wouldn't get hot and have to take it off mid video. So anywho. Okay. All right. We're good. All right. Hi, crafty friends. It's Audra Monk, the crafty yogi. And no, welcome to the crafty corner. If you should be here while this video is live, I would love it if you say hello and let me know that you're watching. That'd be super fun. If you're watching on the replay, that's fine too. Um, let me know then. Comments and requests and all that information, um, it's, it's always, always good. Okay, so what are we going to do today? Today, we are not going to get to flip through the catalog, but you are going to get to see some of the new products that I bought. Hey, Jean. All right, so I'm going to press a couple buttons here. Let's see if I can press them in the right order. Nope, that would be nothing. There you go. I'm glad you got that moment of nothing. <laughs> Not really. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yes. All right. We're in action. I'm here. Here's the catalog that I cannot show you till January 5. Um, although if you want one in person, I can definitely send you a catalog. If you don't have a demo you work with already, let me know and I'm happy to send you a mini catalog and a celebration brochure. The catalog starts on January 5. Both of these start January 5, 2023. And, um, oh my gosh, this is the wrong celebration brochure. <laughs> this one is July to August. It doesn't look like this. Hold on. I mean, it's a good thing I'm not showing you the inside anyway. Hold on. I took the wrong one off the shelf. You want to see that one, which also starts on January 5. Um, but if you need a set and you'd like me to mail you some, uh, let me know and I can do that. All right, I'm gonna slide this over to the side, but I am gonna open it so I can tell you what this uh, suite is called. So, we, as demonstrators, you get to order the month before the catalog goes live. And um, I did not go crazy. I was very restrained. It still costs a fortune. Um, I got some things from the clearance rack, which I think is still doing pretty well. So, I haven't looked, I looked like on Friday and I haven't, I don't remember. But uh, their clearance rack is going on and the last chance sale is going on where there were some really good things. If you want more information, I did do a video on that last week. So you could definitely search here on Facebook or YouTube and find that video. All right, so what is this? What is this beautiful, look at this. This beautiful suite of products. Hold on, there's one more. Look at that. So one of the first things many demonstrators and me especially think of when they look at the spring mini catalog is Valentine's Day. Oh, great. Okay, so just ignore whatever those weird, um, boy, I hope nothing super unpleasant comes up. The spammers are going crazy right now. It's super weird. Why would someone watching a crafty video need a, to find a girl and uh, um, or a guy at the moment when they're looking at craft products? I have no idea. So we're going to just ignore it, and if I can delete them after, I will delete them. Oh, super weird. Okay, so anyhow, this beautiful suite of products is called Country Floral Lane, and it has a heart punch, which we are totally going to love, uh, which makes two hearts and two leaves so that you can kind of make your hearts into flowers if you like. Um, I don't know that I'll do that a bunch, but the two heart sizes are really nice. It is a photopolymer stamp set. And what they did, let's see if you can see this. Hold on, I need something dark to put behind it. Okay, it is one stamp for two hearts, but I saw in um, the on stage I went to, they just cut this apart and it's very easy to line it back up so that you can punch them out. Um, the leaves, I would probably just leave the leaves like this, but I don't know, maybe I would cut them apart too. So I'm probably gonna cut that apart. There's also an outline heart. There are heart ish shapes made with little flowers and then what else is in here and then a nice happy valentine's day and i love you a with love i love that we are friends so it's a nice well-rounded valentine's set i'm going to be making lots of valentine cards it sounds so weird over the next uh couple weeks because i'm going to do a valentine card buffet which is super fun um i'll have it in person and then i'll have the to go but to go people have to remember i will not stamp anything so if you don't own that uh same 
stamp and I use it in a particular way, you might have to get a little more creative or you just need to order that one. Okay, so beautiful stamp set and a punch. Oh, you know what? I was gonna punch. I have a little scrap of paper. This uh, gingham paper is beautiful. Which way do I want the heart? Can I, I'm gonna do it this way. And then I am gonna punch this little heart. I should have just punched the whole thing. That is the love and hate with um, punches that punch more things together. Okay, so look at that pretty heart and this pretty heart, which is messed up. And the leaves, there we go. So I did, I got that little corner off of it, but look at how pretty those are. It's such a pretty heart. And these will layer up really nice for simple cards and just punching them out of DSP or out of cardstock, you can have a lot of fun with that. Okay, so I did wanna show you the punch. If I can move this out of the way there I will get to this paper I promise <laughs> I, I haven't actually seen anything of that paper except for in the catalog so what are these called pastel adhesive back sequins they are super super cute um, let me tell you the colors hold on I need glasses to tell you the colors hey Angie hi Gail oh good I'm Gail. like Gail says she loves this sweet I love it too okay the colors in these gems are gold petal pink and balmy blue they're really pretty and you get two look at this two sheets of them and i guess they're two sizes look at that there is uh small and medium okay so you get two sizes of those there is ribbon i love this it's like it's um crumb cake crumb cake with a little stitching it's super cute it feels really nice and then of course you know we need some red ribbon um, cause you know, Valentine's day and everything. Oh, Angie, you got this one. Awesome. This one is so pretty. Okay. What else? Let's look at the paper now. Okay. See if I can <laughs> see if I can move my mess to the side. All right. Uh, we have two packs of paper. Okay. Where am I going to put it? I'm going to put it there. Punches are always, they're great, but they're hard to like move around cause they're heavy. Okay. So there's two packs of paper that coordinate with this suite. Um, the six by six paper, this one, is all gingham. And it's in sweet sorbet. So look at this. Okay, so you get, oh, there's a lot. The little checks, the, I always call these kind of like window pane checks. I don't know if that's their official term. Um, and then the smaller version of that. Okay, so this is sweet sorbet. And then it looks like we get the same thing, same patterns. Oh, ooh, but that one's different in um, petal pink. And that looks like a sweet sorbet line. Okay, so the one is the same. Hold on, there's one more. Let me get to it. Okay. Okay, so two of them are the same, but their one is different. Aren't they pretty? And then just in case you're not in a pinky kind of mood, you flip it over. Oh my gosh, I love this for Easter cards. I mean, the pink is nice too, but the blues and the, this is uh, balmy blue and mint macaron for Easter cards, a little baby boy cards. I don't know, I love this paper. I'll probably be getting lots of it. It's very, very pretty. Okay, but it is six by six, just so you know that. Okay, and then let's take a look at this. All right, so our 12 by 12 paper. You know, this one's nice, it's got hearts on it. Okay, so I'm gonna do the big reveal. So we have, ooh, I like that. This one is, it looks like petal pink and greens for flower. Oh, look at the cute little bicycles. A whole little passel of bikes with flowers in the basket on the front and on the back. That is very cute. Okay, two of those. And then here's the same flowers, just a different uh, color scheme without the green in the background with the white background. Okay, let's see if I can get this up. Come to mama. Ooh, look at that. I am betting we can just line our punch up and punch those out. Now you'd have to cut it in strips. You would want to do that for sure. But that looks really nice. Ooh, I like this. Look at the blue hearts. They're hearts with little leaves and little dots. Those are very pretty. Okay, and then we're gonna flip it over. Are you ready? Let's see what we get. Yes, Jean, I'm 99% I'm sure it punches out. I will check it. Oh my goodness, look at this. This has little hearts. Which one is that? Okay, I, I'm okay with that. And the stripes are so pretty. Let's see, on the camera they look a little redder. It's sweet sorbet. And then your balmy blue and your petal pink. All right, so let's punch a heart out. 
But yeah, it, it totally looks like it lines up. Let me see. Um, so if you were doing this, ooh, you gotta be really careful. You have to be really careful. I wonder, I feel like you could probably cut it in strips, but I would have to play with it with my trimmer and not be in a hurry to do that. Yes, all of this suite would be great for baby cards. Okay, I did not build a stem here, but I can, I think I can do it. Hold on, Let's see if I can do it. Yes, it fits perfectly. Oh, no, my leaf is off. Hold on. Did you see me almost pop? Okay, so the tweezer thing does not always work. What I recommend you do is you take a little scrap of paper, put a tiny bit of adhesive on the end. You probably didn't see that because I was covered up. I just put a little tiny bit of snail, not snail, stamp and seal on the end. Snail's what we used to have. That's funny, I haven't said that in forever. And then you look at it, you get your borders as even as you can. And there you go. Okay, let me get my pad so I can show it to you. Oh my gosh, that punches so easily. So easily. So there's your leaf. Here's your big heart. Where did they go? Here's a leaf. <laughs> you should not punch it on top of the paper. Oh, and here's a little heart. Look at that. Easy peasy. So you could 100% do that. All right, let me clean this up. This paper is really pretty. Oops, okay, so I got pretty much that whole suite. Okay, so let's move that all out of the way. So there is your main big Valentine set. Hold on, I did not plan this out quite well enough. I thought I did, I got it already earlier today after I did <laughs> the tutorial for the Christmas uh, sampler. Okay, then the rest of the things I got we're basically mostly stamp sets. I'm gonna show you one more pack of paper in a little bit. Oh, so I'm gonna show you this first. Okay, so let's talk about gnomes. All right, I do like gnomes. I like them a lot. They're not the most number one thing I love, but I had to just, when I saw this set, let me hold it up closer. It's this guy with the flowers in his beard. And look, this one has a heart, great for Valentine's Day. There's a love you, gnome sweet gnome. Um, spring is everywhere, wishing you the most magical birthdays. The artist that drew that little squirrel and that little bird, and I know they drew the gnomes. They, yes, they are nice, but that little squirrel and the little bird did it for me. And look, I got a little bit excited, and I made this card today. This is the gingham paper. This is the gingham paper. And um, this um, thing with the tree, tree slices or log slices out of it, that is in the current mini catalog. But look at the cute little squirrels and the little bird, look at them. And the cute little gnome. And I used those little sequins and I used the ribbon. I just thought, and look, well, this is the fuzzy paper. I think it's um, marked down. I don't know if any's left, but that fuzzy snow white paper. But I thought this card was super cute. Um, and you could totally have made this baby card, Easter card, but spring is everywhere. I'll use it for an Easter card. I thought that was really fun. I need to do the inside. I literally was just making this before I started the video. Um, so the deal on the gnomes, this die, the three gnome dies will cut out the three gnomes here. Oops, sorry, it's in the, there we go. It's the same size as the ones in the current set. The current set is not gonna carry over, so I would just say you should buy it if you like gnomes. But these are the same um, gnomes to cut those three guys out. Um, and then that's the only ones. I mean, I use the mushrooms, you know, so, so you can do that. But this you would have to, this is gonna carry over and it's not on sale. But if you want it, I would just get it now. I don't know, if you like gnomes, I would, I would embrace them. I think that card is so cute. After looking at so many Christmas cards, it's kind of fun to look at something that's not Christmassy. Okay, so I wanted to show you that one and go go that. All right, now think about Valentine's Day. All my cat lovers, um, this is so cute, love cats. And it is a red rubber stamp, so you're gonna get a really good, if your ink pad is, um, I was gonna say lit up properly. If your ink pad is inked properly with the red rubber, you can get a really good stamp, and you can also uh, color it with your, not your blends, but your stamp and write markers, you could have a lot of fun. So, and I like this one with the little um, string, it's stuck on there, hide there, Valentine. 
So it's a very, very cute set. Hey, Cheryl, how are you? Oh, good, there's some more friends here. Hi, Arlene, yay! Oh, Angie loves cats too. My daughter has a cat, so it's re, I do love cats. We always had cats before we moved here. Um, and then we've just had Lissa, the little dog. But uh, I, got, I had to get that one. Oh my gosh, it's just, look at this. It is just a pile of stamp sets that I'm gonna show you that I think you're gonna wanna put on your list and you're gonna see me making projects with these. Okay, so let's talk about St. Patrick's Day. Nope, there we go. St. Patrick's Day. We, have, we haven't had a St. Patrick's Day stamp, I think in 10 years, like a dedicated one. Um, because I've never bought one before. But uh, it has a punch, which will punch a really nice, hold on, Let's see if I can grab some green. Let's go with this, parakeet party. No, of course that's not a scrap, oh, there is a scrap in there, hooray. I was like, please be a scrap in there. All right, so here's some parakeet party, which is one of our in colors, but I just happen to think that that color would be nice. So the good thing about punches are you can just punch. You don't always have to stamp. You can totally just punch. Look at how cute that clover is. Look at it. It's such a nice little clover. I love it. All right, but there is a kind of a cool stamp in there. Let's see. Oh, it's a red rubber. Good. That's good. So it's a red rubber stamp set. Oops, it looks like my case is slightly broken. Well, that's okay. Um, you get the big clover that you can punch out. You get a little clover, another little clover. I like these a lot, the little sprinkle of clovers. Just like I think in the heart one, oh, there's a, two little hearts. It's not quite a sprinkle. And you get your good luck, your happy St. Patrick's Day, sending luck and love. Um, I think it's a cute set. And when it's a bundle with a um, little set like this, it's not very expensive. I think it's like $30. Um, and I don't know. I think I'm going to enjoy that. Having, I think I'll have to put uh, one St. Patrick's Day in my Valentine buffet. <laughs> okay, so hold on. Now that I'm making a bigger mess. All right, so then once you get your St. Patrick's Day done, you got to think about your Easter. So we have three sets. Three sets with, with punches. How fun is that? If you have younger kids or you don't want to put a big investment, this is the way to go. So look at how cute that is. This The punch will punch out this bunny, but you could also just punch it out of paper. That would be super funny. I'm not funny, super fun. And I really think these will be fun to color. And the Easter eggs are cute. Uh, so it's a polymer set, nice and easy to use. Ooh, that reminds me. And I will remind you when I do the walkthrough of the catalog. Some of the sets you can now purchase either in photopolymer or red rubber. You get to pick. So that is pretty cool. Not this one, I don't think, but um, I think the goose one, which I can't wait to show you. It's super fun. Um, so anyway, Easter bunny, super cute. There's a cute little bird, cute. I love that little carrot. I, I think I like this one the best. Oh, and I love this little high. Look at that little high, that's really pretty. All right, and so then you get a punch with that one. Look at that, so three punches. My box was pretty heavy with all these punches. Okay, let me move those out of the way. And then, when you order a couple of these sets, you're gonna be like, what's this celebration deal? And I'm gonna say this celebration deal is super cool. For every 50 to $100 you spend, let me, there we go. I kept feeling like I was falling off. Um, oh yeah, Cheryl, you're gonna get the bunnies. They are, they're gonna be fun. But I really, really like this set. Um, everything's coming up carrots. There's carrots. There's little, the end of the carrots. There's a smaller bundle of carrots. There's a big leaf to go on that. It's really nicely done. And um, I love the, there's no one quite like you. Love you. Thanks. Look at you. It's a photopolymer stamp set, so it'll be easy for um, stamping. I think you could have some fun making your own um, designer series paper with these. I don't know. I'm kind of excited. I like the little shading that you can put on there. Um, I will definitely have to play with it and see how it comes out. And that you have a bigger carrot and a little carrot. I don't know. I think it's really cute. So this one is free with your $50 purchase. So if you're going Easter, you can do that. All right, let's see. I'm going to mix these up a little bit. Okay, this one I was super excited to get. And it is a bundle. It is a red rubber set. We are going to get such beautiful images. Look at this. Hold on. There we go. Look at this nest. Oh, good, Emily ordered the carrots. It's on your way. That's awesome. 
This nest is so pretty and the little bird is very pretty. I love the font. I love the branch, the cute little birthday wishes, the little sprinkle of dots. There's a sprinkle. You can't really see them. I thought this was so pretty and the dyes are amazing. Amazing because you get both dyes both ways. So not that you can tell because it looks kind of random, but this dye, and I mean, I haven't used it yet, but this dye will cut out, and in case you didn't know this, in most cases on our stamp cases and in the catalog, the stamps are shown at full size, and size unless it says. Sometimes it'll say stamp shown at 90% or 50%. So this will cut out this big image, which is really neat. And then you can cut out the bird, which you would expect, and the branch. Okay, but then the rest, the rest, I can't wait to go cut these out. Um, there's eggs. There is two dyes you can layer up or use separately to make a nest. Hold on, I need glasses. What are these? Oh, they're leaves. Oh my gosh. This will cut out three, three little leaves and this one cuts out three sets. So they're there and there's two. Oh my, sorry. I'm very excited about that. These are beautiful little leaves and they'll be embossed just a little when you die cut them out and you have two dies that do the little ones and two dies that do the big ones and each of them cuts out three little separate images or whatever shapes these are I, I don't know I was just very excited about this stamp set so there you go I will have in January there is a suite I did not get I'm gonna save it um, there's a lot of new flowers flowers are big sellers but there's one suite of flowers it has a punch it has flowers and has paper and it has blue ribbon but I'm making myself wait till January because I knew I did not have time to use all of the things. So, but this one I could not, I could not let it sit in the catalog and not come to me. Okay, let's go back. There's so many cute, so I definitely went cutesy. I went very cutesy. Um, hold on, we're getting a call. Let's get it away. Hmm. I went very, very cutesy on this pre-order. I love this Taco Fiesta. Um, this is somebody's, I don't remember who, someone's million dollar set that they helped um, bring about. And... I love everything about it. How can you, you know what, we're gonna have to stamp something. How can you not want to put a super cute face on your taco, right? Or on your your chili pepper, or your cactus, or your burrito, or your avocado. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna do the cactus. And there's so many little faces. Wait till you see how many little faces there are. I saw this one and I was like, oh my gosh, I need that. I do actually love tacos. Um, Okay, let's get a clean piece of white paper. So I think we're gonna make some really fun cards with this one. All right, I got some white paper. Can I stamp sitting down? I don't know if I can get stamp sitting down. <laughs> Emily, you love the taco set. I don't know if I would have guessed that about you and I've known you for a long time, but I know you do like cutesy. Oh, and Cheryl got it too, yay! I was like, are people gonna think I'm crazy? But you know what, you gotta buy what you love. Oh my gosh. And if you love to color, these are going to be so fun to color with your Stampin' Blends. Okay, I'm totally putting a face on the taco. I mean, sorry, the cactus. Let's do the little chili pepper, too. I can flip this over. Oh, my gosh, I'm so excited that people like this one, too. And a little chili pepper. All right, and then let me get a tiny, tiny box. Hold on. Oh, you like the pinata? The pinata is very cute. And I don't like to eat avocados but I think avocados with smiley faces are adorable. Okay, I gotta use my glasses to see. And look, there's a lime or a lemon slice. I, okay, who is with me on the chips and salsa? Oh my gosh. Okay, and I've never been a big drinker. And um, more recently, I have discovered that I do like the occasional margarita. I'm trying to get some blocks here. Um, okay, they'll fit. Yeah, they'll fit on that little one. And give me chips and salsa and the is there a margarita cup oh, there is no margarita cup there's guac they gave us guac and they gave us candy to put with the pinata they gave us a teeny tiny pepper and a little pepper oh a bigger chip these are the small chips look at them look how adorable they are the small chips oh my gosh okay so now look we have oh my gosh we have a face with a mess a mustache we have a winky face we have a regular smiley face. I don't know which one this is, but this is the one I'm gonna pick and we are gonna see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm totally putting the mustache on the cactus. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> Look how cute that is. He's so cute. And then let's put this one, whichever one I picked. I don't know. Oh, I messed it up. I hit it too much. Let's do that again. Oh, it's like a sleeping one. Okay, now where's my pepper? Here it is. Can I do it in the reverse? I think I can. Look at that. Look at my sleepy pepper. And my mustachioed. Um, <laughs> it's making you hungry. Oh, that's so funny. Um, and they'll be easy to color. And the, the sayings are super cute. You spice up my life. Your nacho average friend. Holy guacamole. It's your birthday. Spectacular. Long time no taco. I think it's adorable. I think it is so adorable. And now, of course, I'm going to have... I have lost, I always lose the, oh, here it is, the top. Okay, I'll have to put these away later. But anyway, I was very excited about the tacos. Um, I might have to design a class around the tacos, like, because you, you would just have to have the taco set to do that. Okay, let's move this out of the way. All right, so it, it was very high on my list. <laughs> I know, isn't the mustache adorable? Oh, and I would stamp much better standing up and, and really focusing, but I think that that one is super cute. Okay. So the tacos are adorable. Um, we're going to keep up with the adorable with the Silly Goose. I'm pretty sure a few people I know ordered this one. This was super high on, well, these were all high on my list. I'm telling you, I let a whole big fancy flower suite get pushed to January for all of these really cute ones. This one, I picked the red rubber. Um, you could also, on this one, get it in photopolymer. I don't know if it's for all of them. Like, I'm pretty sure the taco was only photopolymer. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I, when I did my order, I didn't have the best list. And I was like, I got up really early because I wanted to get a few things from the clearance rack and the um, sale. And anyway, I don't know. But this one I definitely made sure. Again, great ones to color. Super fun. Um, sending a big honkin' thanks. How cute is that? You stamp that in the inside, put this little guy on the front, add some cute paper, you're good to go. Um, you've got a friend in me, haha, <laughs> goosebumps. A silly, um, a silly goose told me it's your birthday. This silly goose forgot. I don't know. I think it's adorable. It is absolutely adorable, and I'm excited to use this and play with it. This would be really fun for doing paper piecing, where you stamp it on the patterned paper and then cut it out. I mean, wouldn't a fun a plaid goose be adorable? A gingham plaid goose would be super cute. I love gingham. I love plaid. Okay, so I got the Silly Goose. All right, let's see. And then wait, I saved um, the celebration paper to show you thin. Okay, there are three big sets in the catalog that are beachy. I showed you the other whole suite. That paper, that ribbon, the embellishments, you're going to use it with this stuff too. Um, I am definitely going to design some kind of really cool beachy uh, sampler because I need a new one. I like I like to have them new every once in a while. But, okay, so let's talk about Sea Turtle first. Sea Turtle is photopolymer, but this is one of these, ooh, sorry, um, what do they call it? Not two-step, well, it is two-step stamping, but um, where you can flip them over. Reversibles. I was like, there is a word. There is a world, a word. Oh, yes, a Cinco de Mayo banner would be pretty fun. It would have to be little because the images are pretty small, but that could be very cute. Oh, that's a great idea. Like a little one. Oh, I like that. Okay. So what you do with these, let's pick an easy one. Let's pick, this one's going to be really easy. Hold on. The, um, what do you call this thing? Sand dollar. Okay. We need another piece of paper. Here we go. All right, so the sand dollar. I'm thinking, I don't know, we're gonna go petal pink. I don't know what color. They always look kind of white when you see a sand dollar. Um, okay, so we need to stamp off and then we need to stamp it. Oh, I did that wrong, I put the wrong one up. Hold on, let's do that again. The only problem with these is you do have to clean it in between. Okay, let me do that one more time. Let's flip this over. Oh, there's a flower. That's a flower from that gnome. I was thinking about putting that on my card and then I didn't. Okay, so I'm going to stamp off that circle and make my circle. And then I'm going to stamp it off some more. The good thing about photopolymer is the ink comes off really easy. So you could do it like I did. You don't have to like clean, clean it unless you really want to. 
And then I'm going to stamp it in full strength. And now I can't see if I'm right on top of it. And look at that. So you can, well, that one's not the best example. But anyway, you can get the full filled in image. Like, so the turtle, if you stamped it in two colors, the little waves. But you can flip these over. But I love that there's a big turtle and a little turtle. I love the starfish, two sizes. This is shown much smaller. Um, I think you could get some really nice colors going on this. Oh, good. Oh, yay! Lots of people ordered turtles. Oh, how fun! I'm excited to see what people make. So, I'm excited about playing around with different colors with some of these. And this, I think this gives us a more realistic look compared to a lot of the more cartoony ones. Which, whoa, I like both. I totally like both. And I do think you can mix them. Like, I feel like, although this one is a very realistic looking one. And actually the other beachy one, what was it? It was um, sandpipers and shells. I think they all coordinate really well together. All right, and I'll make something better because that was not a good example. Okay, so the turtles are cool. And then this one, the on the ocean, move all that stuff out of the way. Okay, we could, yeah. The On the Ocean, I was very excited about this one because of, yes, the pirate ship, the ship is super cool, but it's this wave. Let me show it up here. Look at this wave with all, it's a, um, shoot, whatever it is, I cannot, I cannot think today. Whatever it is where it looks very realistic and has built-in shading. That is so distinctive stamps. I don't know if they're calling this one, but it looks like it to me. Um, we can weather this together. You are a treasure. Happy birthday. Hoping this year is filled is full of adventure and excitement. I like that. Um, oh, Carlin, you got this one. Yep. You need to get the turtle. I think they're really cute, but I was very excited about this. The clouds are nice and really you're going to laugh that little skull and crossbones. I was very excited about that. So you can stamp this boat. Here's where Stampin' Up! has just upped their die game so much. Whoever's designing these. Yes. Okay, so you can stamp the boat, and this one will die cut it out, just like I showed you with the birds. But, holy mollies, my friends. Oh, can I get them off? I really wish I would have had time to die cut these out first. So this is like the mast of your ship. And then you can have either, I'm pretty sure you can use either set of sails. All right, and then that would go on like this. I'm building it with dyes. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. And you could do those sails or that. They gave us the skull and crossbones, so you could totally make it be a pirate ship. And then these wave dyes. They're amazing. I cannot wait to die cut this out. I'm excited about both of them. And then look, the little teeny flag, of which you could stamp this teeny tiny uh, skull and crossbones on. And then this, oh, there's two flags, awesome. And then this will cut out your um, wheel. Oh, and you can cut out two wheels. And then this will cut out your clouds. So I think it's a super fun die set. I like the waves and I like these waves a lot. So I am excited to maybe tomorrow, maybe, okay, this goes this way, to be able to cut, die cut some of these out so I can look at them. So there we go. So you, you have all the things you need for the ocean this year. So I think we will need to make some really cute projects with them. Okay, what else? Um, celebration things. Okay, so there's very, very cute owls. I think I showed these to you also on the first uh, pre-unboxing video, the pre-pre-order, right? This super cute owls, great for coloring, great for color piecing, so fun. Free with a $50 order. Okay, uh, I'm not gonna go through this. There's farm paper, I got another pack of that. Um, I showed you that in the pre-pre-order video. Also beautiful and cute. But sometimes, and I wish I could show you the pictures in the catalog, sometimes you're like, eh, that paper's probably okay. Now, I could be wrong, but this paper looks way nicer. Did I open this one? I thought I, oh, yeah, I did. I was like, I opened them. I just didn't take them out. So I am very pleasantly surprised by how this paper looks. Oh, and I think you can kind of see it in the screen. I think it looks way better in person than it does in the catalog. So we're going to cross our fingers that the rest is there. Because I was kind of on the fence. I was like, oh, I don't know about that paper. But I think I'm going to love this paper. And I have an idea of a fun project that we could make with this. I, well, I have lots of fun project ideas. But um, 
something I was thinking this paper would be good for. Look at those purple flowers. I love it. So it is much prettier, I think. The samples in the catalog weren't really, oh, look at that. They weren't really my style, but this one is really nice. This would be good for a background, but also you could fussy cut those out. I don't know if you had one of those machines, if it could cut it out. Maybe not on the black. I'd have to ask my friend Randy. She would know. Um, look at that. That is really pretty. So that's definitely a good background one. Um, but I was surprised because I thought I wasn't going to like this paper. And I was like, well, it's free. I'll get one. And I'm kind of digging it. Look at that. These will be great for coloring, uh, for cutting out. And then that. Oh, I love that color. We're going to see what colors these are because I don't really know. I feel like this is Calypso Coral and this is Petal Pink. So maybe that's a combo of both. Okay, now who knows? Let's see what the other side is because I really didn't look at it too much in the catalog. Oh, very nice. Look at that. Just nice geometric papers. A variety of colors. We got some maybe Mossy Meadow, Blackberry Bliss. I don't know what color that is. Probably Mossy Meadow and I don't know, Shaded Spruce, Petal, probably Fresh Freesia. I can't ever say that. Freesia. And um, Clips of Coral, maybe? I don't know. I like guessing, seeing if I can figure it out. Yep, look at me. Blackberry Bliss, Calypso Coral, Evening Evergreen, Fresh Freesia, Mossy Meadow, Petal Pink. So that is another set of free paper. So I think one, two, there might be three. There's four papers you can get for free, three with um, a $50 order and then one with a $100 order, that really big pack I showed you uh, last video. Uh, there's lots of stamp sets, and I think that's it. I think it's paper and stamp sets that are the freebies this year. And the freebies will only be um, January and February. Plus, we're going to have a big joining a big joining offer. So if you're interested in joining my team, you could join now, of course. You could join now and buy these things. Um, and it's still a good deal, but it's going to be a super good deal come um, come January. All right, let me press the buttons. I think I've showed it all to you. There we go. So thank you so much. I hope that this is helpful, um, whether you're a demonstrator or a customer. If um, you need a demonstrator to shop with, of course, I'd love it if you shop with me, audremonk.stampitup.net. Uh, you can always send me an email on audremonk at yahoo.com. Um, and you can message me, you know, whatever portal, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, whatever all those things are, you can totally message me that way and I will get back to you there too. If you do have more questions or comments, um, please let me know and I'll get back to them um, in the next couple days. Okay, thank you so much.